Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, Part 9. We are currently in Bajoba, Aerodrome, and we are here to save Penelo from Bagaman, I think Bagaman and his fleet of evil, 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 evil lizard men. Apologies, but we're having some difficulties. All scheduled airship services are suspended. There is nothing to see here. Move along. Okay. Bajobian. Bajobian's airships use a lot of Mugglecraft to fly so well. They're a good deal better than those heaps the Empire launch about in Koopa. Just goes to show, it takes more than gear to make the best ships in the sky. Powered by the best magic site to be had anywhere. Okay. There's a, there's lots of Moogles living here in Bajoba, Kubo. After all, it's a Moogle crop that's made this place what it is. Okay. In other words, Bajoba is a Moogle based city. We have our own ship. I don't see why we need have to travel on public ship. It's so slow and crowded. What's this? We booked the finest quarters on the ship. Besides, I enjoy the thrill of traveling with mm, small folks. Someday you'll understand. That's right, mother. Father wouldn't change that about you for the world. I mean, I think we had this exact conversation at the last place. Shriek it. Ha! That was a shock. I was watching airships fly back and forth when an Imperial grabbed me from behind. He was looking for someone, not me. Who? You tiny. Who else could he be looking for? Tiny people. Okay, so they're looking for tiny people, guys. Amba and Tata. Well, they are too worried, I think. Why do we need so much luggage just to go on a trip to Rabanaste? Why is this street kid going on a trip to Rabanaste in the first place? So I don't know if the definition of a street child in Final Fantasy XII is different than real life, but... Why can't our civilian co-op not fly just because the Empire says so? Brodra, I filed official complaint, but I fear nothing will come of it. Okay. Hello? Hello? I know! I was shopping and I missed the flight for Rabinus the Koopa. I suppose I have to wait. Nice <laughs> so cute. Murgas are adorable in this game. Oh, and last one, Traveller. When exactly is my airship going to take off? It's hours past the scheduled departure time. Can't these provincials tunnel the time? I don't know, man. I don't know. By order of the Imperial Army, all airships are grounded. Passengers are asked to wait until further notice. Understood? Okay. City Parian Parian Parajina. Saga time traveler, welcome to Brojoba. We in Provayana guides are appointed by the Marquis himself to aid visitors in our fair city. Once you have le once you leave the airdrome, you will find yourself upon Trevica Way, the main thoroughfare of Brojoba. Good journey, Bajra. Okay. Generous helping of my countrymen out on the streets today. Not such a good odd sight in Arcades or our colonies, but wasn't Je Bajoba neutral? I don't know, dude. These names are too freaking difficult for me to say this early in the morning. Okay, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We need to find Penelo. We're not here to speak with random people and hear their random languages. The sky city of Bujoba. I would walk around this place with the freaking parachute on constantly. Are just up ahead. Though, I do hear there's not much left there these days. You're on your way to the mines? Then please allow me to accompany you. Who the fuck is this sketchy dude? to attend to there. What manner of errand? What errand? I might ask the same of you. Do the guys got ruby earrings? Right. Don't trust them. Come on then. What? Excellent. Don't trust them. He's got ruby earrings. Stay where I can keep my eye on you. Should be less trouble that way. Don't trust people with ruby earrings. For us both. So what's your name? Oh, I, uh, I'm, I'm Lamont. Lamont. Don't worry. I don't know what's in that mine, Lamont, but you're in good hands. Probably Where another mimic. <sighs> oh, they never told us what the what Bosch's secret name is today. I can't remember. Okay, so Lamont is a guest. Uh, party. Party, party, party. I want to put Bach out and put Baltier in. So Baltier is slightly lower level and he has a limit break, so... Ooh, people. It is most curious. I have lived here all my life, yet I often forget that Fajoba is indeed a city in the sky. If one of were to fall from here... Kastam. I don't know what Kastam means, but I assume it means Kasplat. 
Did you know that House Ondora has maintained Bajoba's neutrality for ages, Cooper? You did? Well, did you know that Marquis Ondora's estate is up the steps across the bridge, Cooper? You did? Okay. I knew everything, apparently. My first time in Sky City and I know everything. Hello. You may see Imperials on our streets, Bajoba, but do not be alarmed. Bajoba is neutral. Our posts are open to all. Okay. So I should be able to encounter Rosarians here. Is it true where you come from too that young boys love the sky? My son, he wishes to become a pilot when he is older. Haha, <laughs> a pilot. Okay, good for your son. Too many people to talk to in this game. I moved from Rabanaste, you know. How started I was to see the Imperials here on such good behavior. Not like those cretins back home. No, I mean, I also want to live in Majoba then. Lady, that's a random place to sit. Pachoba is not great in size, but our minds are rich in quality magicite, so our lives rich, it is a good place to live. Did you know that the best magicite may be used in many applications? It is most wonderful energy source. There is none greater. Okay. Lady sounds a bit too hoity-toity for me. What's up, lizard man? See these imperials scurrying about? Insects they are. If I were the Marquis, I'd have given them the boot a long time ago. Tell me, Badra, why is it that you have come to Bojaba? Do not tell me, for I already know. It is to see her architecture, yes? Many are travelers who visit us to see her arcs and promenades, each built to take advantage of our most lofty positions in the sky. Okay. But what I'm figuring out so far is Bajobians are really part of this city. That Ondoya, he has the temerity to turn me, a citizen of the Empire, away at his gate. He needs to be taught a lesson of humility, he does. Eh? Huh? Ondor's residence? Just up these stairs and to the left. You're not getting in though, trust me. Up stairs to the left. Stairs to the left. Sorry, but this is where it's closed. On the authority of the Marquis. Why wouldn't you like to? Excuse me. Savagatam traveler. Welcome, I am Pranjanaya, a guide. May I be of assistance? You go to Lusu Mines? I'm afraid that the hill road to Cloudborn Row is a blockade. I advise going southward down the boulevard. Should you become lost, ask a Puranja. Good journey to you, Badra. Okay, I assume Badra is like brother. So many Imperials on the streets today. I thought only those on holidays came to our high streets. What could have happened? Obviously, they want to murder the Marquis. My wife, she goes quite often into the shop of weapons. For many hours, she does not come out. She loves weapons, she must. Dude, your wife's cheating on you with weapons. I'm just telling you this right now. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Savagatam, traveler. Welcome to the best armory in Brajoba. Should you be venturing beyond the city walls or into the mines? Stop here first. Beyond the city walls? Ooh. The mines were open from today, but now a party from the Empire is here for an inspection and work has stopped again. Unbelievable. I come here all the way from Nalbina to make some gear, and this happens. I gotta find something else to do. Take these weapons out, holy crap. So many people talk to Alicia. Not every element is made alike, my friend. In fact, some they are made exactly opposite. Take the Magicite Slow, for instance. Know someone slow? Slap haste on them, and away it goes. Why, even the most pruniest afflictions sometimes have the simplest solutions. Okay, I thought I'd give that pig a more noble voice because I've been making fun of them. Roxas roamed the last two mines, hunting down wary to protect themselves against these creatures of all description. The mines must be armed, you see. The mining of magicite is of great importance to Pajaba. It behooves us all to see that the miners are working safely. Okay. Huh, I wonder if there is a weapon that I too might use. Cuh. Why do I need a weapon? Have you seen my husband? <laughs> I guess he's the guy, uh, the, the dude. Guns, yes, guns have good range and bullets pierce armor as though to a paper, but against some Raxas. They are useless. Flans, for instance. Oh, so um, Balthi is actually pathetically useless against the Flan. Lusu Parivu. The quickest way to victory? Know your enemy's weakness. And how do you find a weakness? Use Libra. And remember, you heard it here first. Okay. Shop clip. Welcome, welcome! Taj Arms is here to serve your every need. As long as your every need is weapons. I mean. I like how I can just keep past the entire line. Savagatam, welcome to Charger's Arms. Bye. Iron Sword. Ooh, it's actually better for um, Bach, but it's only two, so it's really not worth the time. Osefune, it's a katana. Spear, that's for Penelo when I get it. Avis Killer, plus 10. 
Plus 10. Can't say no to plus 10. Davis Killer, you purchase cannot be equipped at the shop. You use the equip command in the party menu. Oh, okay, board axe. Holy crap, axe so strong. Brace mask, cherry stuff. Cool, so we got a new weapon for Fran. But let me take your friends and our party. I'm like, let me take Fran and our party. I was like, oh, I want the Avis Killer. Now, Avis is like a flying types, isn't it? So do we do more damage to flying types with that bow than a normal um, bow would do to flying types? I don't know. The music's so nice and sweet. I was moved from my post by Imperial soldiers. They will stand guard in my place, however. I should be thankful for the rest. The Lucy Mines, I warn you, that is not a place for the casual visitor. Go south, down this road, and through the miner's end. There are many Piranjanas, but guides to assist you. Good journey to you, Bajra. Sorry, but this way is closed on the authority of the Marquis. Why wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would actually like to know, but you guys aren't telling me. So it defeats the purpose. I came here from Rabanaste to visit a friend, Cooper. The Imperials can't throw their weight around here, can they? That said, there's sure a lot of them running around today. And what's with all these blockades, Cooper? Savagatam, we are newly open. Come inside, mites and magics. We have only the best at mites. People are really good salespeople. Savagatam, traveler. I am a Paranjana, a source of guide to our wonderful city. Okay, I've already spoken to you guys like 80 times. Please fuck off. How many fucking Paranjanas can there be? I uh, hate to admit this, but I fear I'm lost. Ridiculous. First I get to Lost in the Rabanaste, now I'm in Bejerba. It's poor urban planning, I tell you. No, dude, it's, you have no sense of direction. That's all it is. Okay, there's more of those people gonna block me. I don't care what you have to say. I do care what you have to say. Oh, that's a Parajan. No. Nope. Bejerbian. Have you been to the Kus Skyground? They are to the west of here. The Lusu Mines, they are to the east. Go through Miner's End. Okay. Do, do, do. Did you see the soldiers? There were so many! Oh yeah, that child's extremely excited. Holy crap. I'm very excited to see a large soldiers. No, that's a Paranja. I don't want to speak to Paranjas anymore. Mine is Ender. Have I seen you in Mine's End before? I thought not. Welcome, Bajra. Perhaps you're here to enjoy the flavor of Old Bajraba. Oh, Old Bajraba. There's always an Old Bajraba. Ah, I see some sour looking Banga about, eh? Banga and a Hume go? Sorry, brother. Seeing nothing of the sort. Oh, because I'm looking for a bunga. That's why I'm here, to find Padena. I thought I was here to speak to everyone in the city. Welcome to Cleo's Techniques, Cooper. Open for business and ready to serve. I just feel like Coopers would talk faster than normal things, you know? Oh, on a typical day, I found myself down in the mines, fixing the carts, the tracks, the diggers. But today is a holiday, Cooper. Okay. Anyway. Have you ever wondered at the lack of palos and fields in Bajoba, Bajra? Yes, we have little space for such things. That is why we must sell our stones and import what food stuff we need. Okay. I thought that miner deserved the hoity toity voice. No, of course I do not like the Imperials on our streets, but it's better than resisting them and ending up like Dalmaskin, no? Independence is not won for free, you see. Okay. I mean, that's a kind of good point. Like, why fight them and then you just die? Are you the same dude? Mergo! Your days are numbered! Do you hear me? Come down here at once! And who not now? I mean, I physically can't get to that Moogle. What's your deal with that Moogle? They're having an argument. I think that's pretty cool. The Imperial seem quite agitated today, Cooper. How am I to take a nap with all that's going about and throwing? Yeah. I feel like I did not read that even remotely correct. Mine is in. I've just finished work in Rabanaste. What a terrible place it is. The Empire is everywhere. I felt quite suffocated, yes? Who speaks like that? Always ending their things with yes. I can't remember. The soldiers, it seems they are looking for someone. I hope they find whoever it is and leave as soon as they can. Can you not see we are in love? <laughs> I feel you, brother. I feel you. The fucking Imperial soldiers getting away of your punani. I got it. What I've learned is always speak to the kids. The kids know everything. How I wanted to play on the cuff terrace, but the Imperials, they block our way. It's not fair. Back to Arcades with you, Merca Imperials. Okay, so the Bajorbians have a really, like, slangy type of talking. Oh, Cooper. Oh, so many hills in this town, Cooper. I suppose that's what the travelers come here to see. But me, I cannot see for my sweet in my eyes, Cooper. 
Oh, the sweat in my eyes. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know Koopas could sweat. I do not fucking know Moogles could sweat. I learned something. Ah, you seem new to this place, yes? Do you know where you are? We are in Dawn Stoners, one of the Puruma, the floating islands. Many are the visitors from all parts of Ivalis. Oh, Ivalis, I was right. Haha, Ivalis is Star I was like, in episode one or two, I was like, this is Ivalis. And I was like, wait, no, it's not Ivalis, it's Damascus. But Damascus is just the place in Ivalis. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Many other visitors from all parts of Ibelis who come to see the wonder that is Bijoba. That is why the city employs guides. The Puranjanana. Fuck off Puranjanana, you guys irritate the shit out of me. Do, 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 do. Mine is Endo. I hear that the quality of magicite taken from the mines has dropped, but this is most odd. All the stones I have seen are of the highest grade. Yeah, dude, they now the you see the highest grade, but back in the day it was like Oh my god, this was the quality magic I... You can carry potions and elixirs, do you not? Ha! Huh. The value cannot be overestimated. Better than magics many times, especially for healing. I mean... Normally I sell my waste to the mines, Badra. But with the mines closed, businesses... How shall I say it? Dead! Take a look, won't you? Right. I'm gonna, you, just, you all sell the same shit. Lusu Miner. A friend of mine, he found a great treasure deep in the mines, but when we went to reach for it... Ah yeah, it was a Roxas, a most horrible fiend. Not all treasure's treasure, Badra. Oh, excuse me. Cartographer's Guild, on a trip into the mines? Would you like to buy a map, Cooper? Yes. A fine purchase, Cooper. You won't forget it. Moogles, I know. Map of the Jobo. I'm not buying the other map, dude. It's too expensive. I'm not doing it. So long, Cooper. I can just figure out the mines for myself. I don't need no map. I don't need no map. I can prove this, because later in the game, there's an area that literally has no map. And it sucks balls. But you got to solve the puzzle inside the area to fight the very specific important monster of some kind. I'm not going to spoil for you until we get there. Ah, now that's good quality coffee right there. Today all work in the mines has stopped by drop. An inspection party has come from Arcadia, yes? They brought many guards. There is need for our guild of bodyguards. The Periver. Periver? Can you guys just have normal words, please? Just call yourself bodyguards, or call yourself brother, or call yourself mm, guide. Don't call yourself these weird words that I can never pronounce to save my soul. The Luso Mines, one of the richest veins in Ivalis. Under Imperial Guard, no doubt. Actually, no. With but few exceptions, the Imperial Army is not permitted within Bujerba. Well, shall we proceed? Look, this little kid knows way too much, and he's cocky as fuck. It's obvious who he is. It's obvious. Have you guys figured out who he is yet? Have you? Have you? If you haven't, I'll give you a hint. His name ends with an S. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil it. It's gonna be a surprise when you finally figure out who it is. Who he is. So many stairs. Let's see how the stair physics work. Oh no, stair physics are horrible. The cutscenes stair physics are really good. They take step for step, but the running on step physics not so good. Uh, where's Bach? Hello? Where's Bach? Who the fuck are these people? Oh, it's a judge. And, uh, asshole. He looks like freaking uh, Littlefinger. You will forgive me for asking, but you are diverting the purest of the magicite. I can assure you it reaches Lord Vane most discreetly. Ha! <laughs> you wear your saddle well. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, Your Honor. Then you prefer the whip? Stubbornness will see not only you broken, Excellency, but Bujerba as well. Dude, that guy looks just like Littlefinger. Who the fuck are these guys? What race are they? I've never seen them before. I know about the piggies, Having and you got the, the lizards, fourth, and uh... The Marquis of Bujerba. Oh, is he the, the Marquis, Marquis of Bujerba? The Marquis served as mediator at the negotiations of Damascus' surrender. It would appear that he is somewhat less neutral now. They say he's been helping the resistance. They say many things. You're certainly well informed. 
Who did you say you were again? What difference does it make? We have to find Penelo. And Penelo is your... She's a friend. Oh. She was kidnapped and taken here. She's a girlfriend, boy. Just fucking face the facts, dude. She's gonna marry your ass and lock you down. The Lusu Mines. It's very pretty in here. Look at this architecture. They spend a lot of time to make architects like this in a mine. Don't you just put up fucking pillars and then it's all rocky and groundy? Nope. These miners are like, fuck no, we're gonna build ourselves out of mine. Look at this shit. This is bloody built. Bricks and shit. Why is this closed off? It looks like it shouldn't because of who the frick builds like this. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Bats. The first enemy to be encountered is a bat. A stealing. Oh, come on, game. At least give me something. Most. Oh, shit. I have a lot of HP. Oh, bit's dead. Doesn't matter if you have a lot of HP, you're still dead because Lamont is strong as fuck. He uses a sword and a, a little knife. He uses a sword and a little knife. How does he get two weapons? Is that a knife? Why can I only use one weapon, but you can use two, Lamont? What the fudge, game? I try to give Vaughn two weapons, the game told me yeah. no. Maybe I can give Vaughn a, like a, a sword and then a dagger. And he's off that. Vaughn is level 10. Oh, baby. I could have bought a map for this mine and we could have solved the entire map. Mine and knowing exactly where to go, but I didn't because I didn't want to waste the money. Oh, Adam. Get absolutely bloody busted. What if, I want to figure out what. Um, can I please tell me I can status this guy? What are you? What is your. What is your bloody class? I want your class because your class is with the class I wanted born to be. Dual wielder. Dual wielding thief. A chest! Okay, remember, some of these chests can apparently be a Raksha. Hello, what am I fighting? It's a... It's a freaking skeleton thing. Looks like an emperor skeleton or something. Holy shit, where the frick? I don't remember this at all. This must be a new enemy. Oh, that's so cool. If there's new enemies in the game, I'm going to be so happy. 143 gil. gil. Okay, some of these chests might be Rakshas. We need to remember this. They made it very clear that they are Rakshas. In the mines that look like chisitress. Look at this architecture for a mine, guys. This doesn't look like no mine to me. What are you mining? There's walls everywhere. There's nothing to mine. I think I found the fatal flaw with the looser mines, guys. They fucking built walls everywhere. The joyous sound wave. That's nice. He's really joyous sound wave, guys. He's a friendly. He's a friendly guy. He's gonna make us happy. We're all gonna laugh and dance and sing together. Holy crap, yeah. these things actually hit hard because Vaughn's lost 300 HP already. And Vaughn's my tanky person. Now the bat. Do you think the bat's on the top of the roofs and I can't see them? That's why they just appear out of nowhere. That'd be pretty cool. Hmm? Oh, here's a brick wall. Or slash a brick gate. Or slash a metal gate. Oh crap, that's like a uh, mist. We don't want to go into the mist yet. We first want to go back. Backtrack time. Go this way. I like the music a lot. Skeleton D begins using protect. Got a high potion. Oh my god. Give me a high potions already game. Isn't it a bit early for high potions? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. So we've explored everything. Oh, Fran and Balthy have such little HP. Dude, come here, Mr. Ficking uh, Skeleton D. I ain't scared of no Skeleton yeah. D. Holy shit, check this guy. This looks so scary. Looks like he's a, a horse skeleton. Doesn't he look like a horse, guys? Did he poison me? How dare you poison me? Skeleton C. Okay, let's just first kill Skeleton C in case he can poison too. Yeah. I don't want to get like cure poison on Vaughn and then immediately gets re poisoned. He's dead. Now I'm gonna antidote Vaughn up. We got a lot of antidotes, though, so that's good. Luckily, we do have a lot of antidotes when we come to the Lucid Mines. Dun, dun. What am I fighting? Another skeleton. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how the miners mine if the place is full of skeletons. Yeah. I'm just saying, it doesn't. Oh, crap, behind me. Well done. You, sn you snuck up to me, Mr. Uh, 
What's this guy? Ulan. Oh, Ulan, because he uses a spear. Aren't the spear users called Ulans, I think? That's why I'm 100% sure I saw a skeleton here, now it's just gone. Excuse me, game? Hello? Holy crap! Excuse me, game. I'm a hundred percent sure I saw a skeleton here, and now it's just vanished. Yeah, that switch just does not work at all. Holy shit, we we stepped on a trap. Do you guys check that? I forgot there's traps in this game. We straight up stepped on a trap. It was insane. A explosion trap. Did a ton of damage to Vaughn. Let's uh, fast forward here a bit, and then we get to the battle, so we will get yeah. back to normal speed. Oh my goodness, Vaughn, you beast, you beast, man, you. Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, bad. I really do like the speed up function uh, for for recording purposes, at least. So, because there's going to be a lot of backtracking involved in this game, and that allows us to backtrack slightly quicker than what we normally. Oh shit, I'm on a bridge. Oh my god, I stepped on another trap. Why are there traps in a mine? That makes no sense. Oh, more fun. Wait, that's a different bat. It's an aerial. It's an aerial bat. And skeleton. Skeleton and aerial bats. Okay. Oh, dude, the aerial bat's strong. Okay, kill everything else first. Just kill everything else first because the aerial bat's too strong. So kill the weaklings first and then there's less enemies to deal with and then we fight the aerial bat. That's, the, that's how you handle these type of situations. This ain't my first rodeo. Get absolutely done and dusted. Come on, he's one shot away. Just kill him, boy. Nice. Okay, we killed everything. Now it's just the. Uh, no, wait. I want to kill the stealing first because he's half dead. And if we kill him, then you can solo fight the, uh, the aerial. And then the aerial's going to be his butt hammer. So, okay, awesome. Now, where's aerial? There, aerial. Attack aerial, but missed quickening fires of war on aerial. There we go. Let's use our first quickening for the game, boys. Fires of war. Please. I don't know what's happening. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Yeah, okay, I got one fires warp. I don't know what it did. Oh, it did a thousand six hundred damage. That's what it did, boys. Steal from here we go. Come on, Vaughn, don't let it die before you steal from it. Could it steal? Nope, you're stealing before the end of this day is up. I wonder if I leave it, if I can see what it has to steal. Could it steal? Quickly, Vaughn! Vaughn, please don't kill it, guys. Let Vaughn steal first. Could it steal? It's dead. I'm not gonna get the steal off, am I? Nope. Oh, it wasn't very strong. Kicked its butt. Let's keep going. There's another bat over there. I mean, I did have to use a quickening on it, which means it was pretty strong, so. I shouldn't, like, underestimate aerials from now on. If I encounter aerial, we know yeah. they are pretty strong. But I wanna steal from it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, nice block, Vaughn. Nice block. What are you, a defender? Yeah, you're a defender. Okay, so the ones with spears are defenders. The ones with horse heads are, are normal skeletons. Very interesting uh, design. Ooh, chest. Are oh, your chest or Roxas? I want to fight a Roxas game. You made me know that there's Roxas. You literally warned me about Roxas. <gasps> what was that? Rejuvenation trap. That's the best trap ever. Sack of onion bombs. Don't care about that. I want to fight the Roxas, please. You games, you guys told me there was Roxas's. Roxas's? Is that the plural for Roxas? I don't know. It's one of those uh, things that we'll never know the answer to. Okay, let's see what we got here. Holy crap. Traps all over this mine. A dark mode. <gasps> oh my god, my heart. Oh, it's just turned into a horror game. What's happening? I thought this was Farm Fancy, I didn't think it was freaking Resident Evil or something. Okay. This way, obviously. Bats! Where did you get bats just appear from? I mean, bats were probably just hanging on top of the wall. Oof, I couldn't actually see it. That would be so cool if that was actually how it was. I'd be really impressed with that um, game design. 
You are absolutely dead, dude. Hello, Mr. Numerology. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're all blind. Are you kidding me right now, game? Holy shit. It, literally every single one of our... Oh, wait, we have blinder on Lamont. We have blinder on Lamont. Lamont's going to blind us. Oh, baby. Lamont is the champion we always needed. Bl uh, Lamont, can you blind yourself, please? Did that skull defend, uh, the skull the skeletons just use fucking flame bird? Bone toss. Do you guys think uh, skeletons have a limited amount of bone toss usages? If they use bone toss too much, they run out of bones to toss and then they like can't put bone toss anymore? I think that would be pretty funny. Skeleton use bone toss. Skeleton doesn't have any bones left. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. What is that aerial stealing? Just checking, guys. Aerials are scary as fudge. I don't want to yeah. encounter aerials. Oh, that stealing took no damage. Hello. Okay, some of the, the enemies in here like are actually pretty strong. I thought I was over leveled, but now I'm starting to wonder if I'm actually under leveled. You know what I mean? I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Raxas, Raxas, a set of leather headgear. Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna check the um, armor every time I get a new piece of armor. I'll wait until yeah. I've got a, quite a lot of armor. I will, like I have like done a bit. I'll do like big leveling equipment episodes. You know, where it's like, okay, let's go to the license board. Let's see what we have. Let's see, um, level everything we need for the new equipment and. Uh, then we'll go and we'll optimize our characters to the best setup. But for now, we seem to be doing pretty well with what we have. I'll, I'll get if I get a new weapon that someone can equip on my team, like when I got the Mage Masher, I will of course equip that because that's just extra DPS and that's always good. Roxas? No, balance mode. I'm starting to think the Roxas was a was a lie, guys. The game lied to me. This is so useful. So useful because this is oh. I got a Wayfair trophy. I guess that's for speeding up the game. Weird trophy. I guess I would have never got it if I didn't speed up though, so it makes sense. To not you could miss that trophy. Okay, that's a lot of skeletons. Can no one move further than this? Just stay here. We don't wanna spawn more skeletons. I actually remember I went into one of these I uh, went into these one of these bridges in a, in my first playthrough of Final Twelve on the back of the patient two. And I like ran across the bridge and spawned like 50 skeletons and I just went game over. So, something to always keep in mind. Dude, one of these are strong. The defender's strong. Hello? Or was it the skeleton? Ske skeleton A is, is yellow. He's not blue like the defender. Oh, why is he yellow? So, wasn't the skeletons, the normal skeletons, just blue previously? I'm pretty sure they were just blue previously. I wonder if they got a little bit of a, a, a stat boost or something. As you get deeper inside the... Uh, it would be cool if like for every bone fragment I'm carrying, a skeleton gets stronger because like you, every bone fragment means I killed another skeleton and then they're like, you killed my brother and, and then they get stronger and actually kill me or something like that. I'm actually not doing that good about that good of damage right now. I'm like barely hitting for over 100. I think Bach hits for over 100 but everyone else is like... I might want to take Balthier out of my party again and put Bach in. Just because Bach hits hard. And it'll speed things up slightly. But then again, I want Fran at all times because Fran's our healer. But Balthier has like the quickening, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to put Balthier out and put Bach in. There you go. <coughs> Let's go, Bach. Bach is a beast. He's like a machine. Look at that damage. Oh, Bach. Dude. So good. Oh, so many enemies. Nice heals. We got Fan and Lamotte healing us when necessary, so we should be fine. Because, like I said, Bach hits so hard that the enemies will die slightly faster now. I think this actually might be the bridge I was talking about. I mean, we fought like what, eight skeletons already? Oh, we're only halfway across the bridge. Did someone just use Flame Breath? I don't know why skeletons can use Flame Breath. They don't have any insides, like, to conjure the fire from. 
I'm not going to click on that because just now it is a, a mimic and then we've got to fight the mimic while we're fighting uh, three skeletons and that could be dangerous. Oh, excuse me? Someone cast it slower, my people? Oh, it missed. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think silence is working though because I keep silencing things with Mage Mash and they still cast abilities. Uh, skeleton behind me? Skeleton behind me? Where the fuck do you come from, dude? Holy shit, there's like just infinite spawns of skeletons here. Oh, I like how that guy's waiting. He's like, I'll wait patiently for you guys to finish fighting and then I'll fight. Ooh, we got a bone fragment. It was a little drop out of it. Like a little metal. That's our second metal we've got so far, but they haven't explained to us what exactly the metals are or how they work. So, very interesting. Excuse me, can you just die? Another metal. Dark stone. Nice, we got a dark stone from that metal. Oh man, another one. Bone fragment and a dark stone. Okay, treasure or Raxas? Treasure, okay, cool. See, so we still haven't encountered any Roxasses, which makes me a little bit sad, but at the same time, I don't mind too much. Let's just do a little bit of fast forward here just to get down the steps slightly faster. Okay, traps, traps, traps. Any traps here? Uh, I'm, I'm prepared, I'm mentally prepared. Okay, no traps. Okay, cool. I was mentally preparing myself so I didn't get a heart attack if there was another trap again. Okay. But, oh my god, do they respawn? Is it infinite skeletons? Okay, I'm actually gonna fast forward this fight part to get across this bridge because if it's infinite skeletons, I don't want to be here for the next one hour of recording just fighting the same skeleton, same bridge. Absolutely done, that's good. I think it might be an infinite skeleton spawn section, this bridge. I, mean, I don't know how the hell these, um, how these workers ever finish a day of work if there's infinite skeletons spawning on the way to the mines. I mean, they say we're in the mines, but I don't see any place that's mineable yet because every area I've seen so far is bricked up. Holy crap! So many enemies. I actually really like the speed up function up. I'm very happy they put it in. It reminds me back of when I used to play Final Fantasy on the um, Game Boy emulator, like when I was very young and they didn't, the games didn't exist in my in my country and then I had to like play on the emulator and you could just hold in the space bar and you could speed up through grinding spots. It was very useful. Especially if you wanted to like be a perfectionist like me and play Final Fantasy V and max out every single job class on every single character. Okay, so this is literally an infinite skeleton spawn area, which is very scary, but actually pretty good for learning, I think. Also we got like a 20 something, 28 chain skeleton chain, which is really good. Okay, cool. I can't remember, like, I know chains are important for rare drops, like the higher the chain, the rare the drops, but so far we haven't actually had opportunities to get our chains up because we keep fighting multiple forms of enemies, like, at the same time. And it's not like you can pick and choose which enemies you fight and which enemies you don't fight, so it's almost impossible to actually, um, to build a chain in this game so far. But it looks like that is going to change uh, in this area because it seems like it's very skeleton-y. Oh, uh, chest, is that going to be my first encounter with our Roxas? Yes? No? Maybe? Still a Gorget. What the fuck is a Gorget? Okay, so there's two paths to go. Where did I... I came from... The, okay, the, uh, the, bra the dark is what I've explored already. So that way it looks like it leads onto the game. So I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go this way. So we, will, we should fight some bats here, because bats seem to cling onto the ceiling of the... Mind the part. So is this a defender? Yeah, this is defender. So. Got another uh, dock stone. We're gonna ha we have so many stones. Once we figure out what the stones are used for, we are going to be rolling in whatever it gives me gill or um, weapons or armor or I don't know what it gives me. Whatever it gives me, we're going to be rolling in it. Is it? A dispel moat. Okay, our first miney part. Oh. High potion. One of these is going to be a Roxas. Handkerchief. A gravity myth. Not one of them was a Roxas, really? I thought I could click on these things. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember that going in the mine is actually where you go to go into the game. So we might want. Ah! 
It's not like they're gonna chase me out, I think. So we might as well keep exploring. Yeah, this is definitely a boss fight. 100% guaranteed boss fight. 100% guaranteed. I remember this area. Yep. Knew it. This is what I came here to see. What's that? Looks it's like nethersite. Egg. Manufactured nethersite. Nethersite? Unlike regular magicite, nethersite absorbs magical energy. This is the fruit of research into the manufacture of nethersite. All at the hands of the Draclaw Laboratory. So this is where they're giving the magicite. Errand all attended to, then. Thank you. I'll repay you shortly. No, you'll repay us now. We have too much on our hands to go on holding yours. So, where did you hear this fairy tale about Nethersite? And where did you get that sample you carry? What do you know about the Draclaw Laboratories? Tell me, who are you? Balthier? You kept us waiting, Balthier! You slipped away in Nalbana! We missed you! Oh, uh, I remember these guys are strong. You know this boy. The whole affair has a smell of money about it. I may have to wet my beak a little. Keep your snout in the trough where it belongs. This thinking ill befits you, Bagamnon. Balthier. <laughs> Too long have I gone unpaid. I'll carve my bounty out of that boy. Where's Pinello? We're taking her back. The girl? Why keep the bait when you've landed the fish? We cut her loose on the way here and then off she ran crying like a babe. <sighs> Hey! Seriously? Seriously? It was that easy? Just turn and hey, fight. Wait up! We'll not be able to take them all. Fight who we must. Leave the rest. Yeah, who are we fighting? I said fight who we must. Leave the rest. I'm gonna leave all of them. Oh wait, one's coming. One's coming. Fight the one. I'm bring it. How much damage does that do? Oh, they do a lot. Run! Run! Absolutely just run. Run, 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 run. Fucking keep running. Run, team, run. They take zero damage from us. One of them is straggling behind, though. Oh my god, we just ran out of this person trap. Yeah, let's fight this shit. Let's go. Let's just kill them. That's it. We're just gonna kill them. If I had Balthia in my team, I could have quickening, but I don't have Balthia in my team. Uh, okay, this is actually bad. Oh fuck, my, my, my gambits are fucking me. Gambits. Gambits. Off. 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 You on. Play! We're dead. Bach, become Bach and Flee. Become Bach and Flee. Become Bach and Flee. Flee. Dude, they're so fast. They keep up with me no matter what. Keep fleeing, Bach. Keep uh, fleeing. So chest in here. I'm gonna go get it. Please don't be a rock sus. I'm gonna be very, very upset. No. Gotta pick up things up. Run. Fle oh, nice. Keep fleeing, Bach. Keep uh, fleeing. It's a dead end. Wrong play, wrong play, play this way. Play, 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 play. Oh, we, we kind of slowed them down by making them have to do a weird U turn that they couldn't handle. Better, 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 better. I was probably. Oh, I like how the skeletons attacked me and killed me, but no one attacked the freaking bungas. The skeletons didn't attack the bungas. I think that's some bullshit. Run, Bach, run! This is not going well, boys. Okay, where must I go? Can anyone tell me where I need to go? Oh, I just need to get out of here. 
Is that all I needed to do? If I knew that, I would have handled the situation a lot different. Um, oh, there's an enemy. We don't want to be there. We don't want to be there, guys. This way. Okay, we need to heal. Can we heal on the menu? Inventory. Uh, items. High potion. We can't, we can't heal on the menu. We need to actually heal out of menu. We're gonna go game brother. We're actually gonna go game brother. No, 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 no. Maybe we get through the mist, we might like lose them slightly. A little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Very useful. Uh, items, high potion on Bach. Bach quickly! Items, uh, Phoenix Sudano on Vaughn. Bach quicker, quicker, Vaughn. Bach, use the, use the Phoenix down. Use the Phoenix down. Keep fleeing, everybody. Everybody flee. No, Vaughn, flee, 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 flee. Keep fleeing, keep fleeing, keep fleeing. Just run, Natron. Why are the skeletons not attacking them? Why are they attacking me? Skeletons, fight the Bungai people. Fight the Bungai people. Fucking Lamont ditched me like a motherfucker. Okay, items. Phoenix were down on the front. And they freaking run, boys. Run, Tron! Screw the stealing, just keep running. Run, 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 run. We ain't going game over today, okay? It's not happening. Keep running from these people. Dun, dun, dun. I thought I could take them, guys, but I couldn't take them, I was wrong. Etimo. I push no and vo no. Keep running, guys. Just ditch them. Ditch them. Let's go. Leave friend to die. It's fine. Go, 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 it would not seem they follow. We've lost them. Oh, was easy. Easiest game I've ever played. Much more running about with Bunga at my heels, and I'm apt to give up sky pirating altogether. Where's Penelo? Hello, do we need to find Penelo, guys? Guys, hello? Penelo's missing. I'm not moving until every single person's fully healed. Okay, how do I make my leader born? Party. Uh, leader. Take leader. Aha! Okay. Fan is stuck in my party because she's healing. If I go back this way, am I going to run into those Bungai again? There's so much more of this mine to explore though. Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's just leave. I think it's yeah. safer to just leave because. Oh, I think we want to go save it a save crystal anyway, and then we want to, uh, then we'll come back to the mine. You know, next episode we'll come back to the mine, explore the mine a little bit more. What I'll do is I'll actually run off camera with back to where we were, and then we explore the rest of the mine from there. Yeah. That's a spat. Got to enter it, nice. Ho ho, triple hit by Bach. Oh, those monsters didn't stand a chance. Let's fast forward this. Fast forwarding off. Fast forwarding off. Yeah. Joyous sound. Right? I don't understand why it's called joyous sound. That's a ha that's a good thing. We're all gonna be happy. We're gonna be joy. We still gotta figure out what's up with Lamot. Lamot is uh, is pain in the butt. That chest back. That chest respawn. So I guess this chest only respawn if you- Oh, what the fuck is that? A slap? Why is there a slavin in here? Hello, Mr. Slavin? Yeah. I think you're in the wrong neighborhood, dude. You're supposed to be in Giza Plains. I don't know. How did you even get in a mine? That makes no sense. Why is there a slavin in the mine? That's really weird. I mean, I don't mind killing the slavin. I'll kill the slavin, no problem. I just don't understand why the slavin is here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I really thought we could take Begum in there, but apparently we couldn't. 
Für zu weak. Ha! Ja! Was for a little bit? Pip, 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 Penelo. We caught her wandering out of the mines. You must take care with such undesirables about. I was kidnapped. Silence. If it is a crime to wander on one's own, then I too am guilty. Marquis, I trust that your estate can accommodate another guest. Why not? Judge Geese, I shall heed your counsel. I will not travel unaccompanied any longer. That was unexpected. He is a boy. Penella. He's a young uh, boy. Of course. That is in love with Penella. What's Penella doing? And what's the deal with that Lamont? That's no Lamont. Lassa Ferina Solidor, fourth son to Emperor Grammis and brother to Vane. What? That kid? Do not worry. I believe he will treat her well. Nobody knows men like Frandos. <laughs> Our purposes yeah. lead the same way. To Andor. We must find means to approach him. The Marquis is channeling money to organizations opposing the Empire. We'll start there. I'm sorry, what? No game. We can't just like go into the Marquis's house. Like, yo, what's up? I know. You guys don't know me anything, but I just want to come and uh, enter your Marquis's house, please. Marquis Andor announced my execution two years ago. If news of my survival were to spread, the Marquis may find his position compromised. The men he's been funding bear little love for the Empire. They won't be thrilled to discover that rumors of your death were, in fact, greatly exaggerated. If we were to raise a clamor to that effect, we might just get their attention. Nothing to it. I'll just go around town spreading the word. How about this? Press square. I'm Captain Bosch von Rotzenberg of Dalmaska. Well, he's very young. He looks very young for Bosch. That certainly qualifies as a clamor. All right, Van, get to it. For the girl's sake, eh? Oh, and the more people around to witness your little performance, the better. If we're going to reach the Marquis, it's up to you. We'll be waiting here if you need us. No! I wanted to go back into the mine! These mother fudges. I'm gonna save though. You can't stop me from saving. Awesome, so that was the Lususu Mines. Lusu Mines? The Lusu Mines. I think it was Lusu Mines. Uh, we explored. We didn't get to explore all of it because I went the wrong way. Fought the Bungai. Got my butt handed to me. And now we've got to run around being Bach. Very, very young version of Bach, I must say. But that will all happen next episode. That is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to hit that like button. Hit up a bunch. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. So you can be updated as soon as new episodes are released. I will see you on the next episode of Farm 12.